Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Brett Boatsman, and I am your Oklahoma veterinarian. I live out here uh, in the country, and I am also a pet owner. I have uh, one of my horses uh, right here uh, that has had uh, some dental disease. She's a little bit of an older horse. And I actually took her uh, to uh, a board-certified equine surgeon uh, to have surgery done on her mouth. And you may notice uh, that the uh, side of her forehead is, or the front of her forehead right here, is shaved a little bit. And equine uh, medicine has come a long way, it just has uh, small animal medicine it is. And they are now doing MRIs on horses. We do uh, many different orthopedic procedures on horses. Uh, we can fix broken bones and do joint surgeries. Uh, and so there's a whole uh, array of uh, advancements that have occurred both on the large animal side and on the small animal side. Uh, my wife and I both enjoy our animals very much and the veterinarian's job in Oklahoma is, is to promote uh, the health of everybody's animals and that is our, that is our underlying goal. I'm standing here in the ICU unit of an advanced uh, referral equine hospital here in Oklahoma City. And large animal medicine has made uh, great advances in the way we can handle and uh, treat large animal diseases. And behind me is a horse here uh, that's on IV fluids uh, for, uh, to help rehydrate her. And as you can see, uh, we had numerous bags of fluids up there, the IV line going into the horse. And uh, they can actually uh, not have to stand here with the horse while she receives her IV fluids. Not only have there been many advances made in large animal medicine, there have also been a lot of advances made in small animal medicine. I'm standing in the ICU area of a 24-hour small animal hospital here in Oklahoma City. And small animal medicine, uh, the procedures that we can do nowadays are just extraordinary. And we have uh, laparoscopic surgery now available for animals. And right now we are doing uh, spays and uh, certain particular types of neuters uh, with the laparoscope, just like they do in people. And it's a very non-invasive way and uh, least uh, less painful way uh, for us to perform these uh, procedures that every dog and cat uh, really needs to have. And as our techniques get better and the equipment gets better, uh, we will be able to do more surgeries than just uh, regular spays and neuters. Uh, this practice also has digital radiography. Instead of taking an x-ray and having it print out on a piece of film, uh, it is all digitized into the computer system and we can look at it on a computer screen. And the nice thing about that is we can email that x-ray anywhere in the country or in the world to have somebody else look at that for us and give us their opinion. Uh, this uh, particular clinic also has around-the-clock care. We have a veterinarian as well as an ICU technician on staff 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that includes all the holidays. Veterinary medicine is all about teamwork. I'm standing here with Ashley Delisle, who is a nationally registered veterinary technician. And Ms. Delisle is going to tell you uh, what uh, veterinary technicians do and uh, what she enjoys about her job. Thank you, Dr. Hudson. As a veterinary technician, we play many different roles. Um, one of our biggest roles is client education, talking to the clients about their animals' health and welfare and the best way to make sure they live healthy as long as possible. We are laboratory technicians from drawing blood, running the blood work, your analysis, heartworm tests. Um, we also do a lot of work in radiology so the doctors can get a better idea of what's going on with the animals and make a more accurate diagnosis. We provide assistance in the surgery center um, from prepping the surgery packs to monitoring during anesthesia and the aftercare when the surgery is over. Intensive care is a big area that we play a part in, making sure the animals fully recover from whatever illness or procedure they just went through, and making sure that they can go home healthier than they came in. 